Hey guys, Susanna here. I've got it zoomed in because I'm going to be working on um, this part here. So actually, I'll, while I'm standing up, I can show you a little bit there. I've put that on there and I finished the foot and all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to be working where we are there. So hopefully, I'll keep it. In, in the position now um, where have we got I think I've got this little thing here which I still need to do around there and here um, oh there was a couple of lines on here which I needed to do so what I'm going to do with that so like how I've done here, so I might even do that and I'll get a little bit of a line here and there. Um, got a bit of a, a mark along here. It's going to be a mark over there. And then on the nose. Um, this will be the nose. wondering if we put a little mouth here. Probably do a little mouth there. Okay, now what we need to do, I've already got this creamy colour through and what I might do on that is I might do a zigzag rather than um, not a zigzag a running stitch which will give it a bit of a feature because it's, a, it's going through a few layers <laughs> so that's what it often happens it's got this layer that layer and the layer of the wadding and when you've got the wadding underneath it does make it a little hard to um, do this hang on a minute I'll show you no <laughs> you want to go in enough to grab it but you don't want to go too close to the edge where it doesn't go through normally when you do a running stitch you go like that but I just I don't think it's gonna work it's a little annoying I was hoping that this would be a quicker video pulling the wadding more pulls the wadding through If you wanted to, you could probably do all the sewing first and then put the wadding on after. I was seriously thinking of doing that, but it sort of gives it a bit of texture, like it puffs it up a little bit when you do sew it with the wadding. But um, it definitely makes it easier to sew the body and do all that if it's you haven't got the wadding on there. Let's see if we can do it. No, I'm not going to push it. So, hope you enjoyed doing part one. He is rather cute. And like I said, it's sort of got a bit of a chip monkey look about it, but at the same token, you know, you know squirrels have got rather fluffy tails. And, you know, it's not always accurate. I'm just using what I've got, so. Okay. Now, I've got to sew around the eye as well, actually. See, this is what happens. So what I might do, I'll finish sewing around there like that with the, the white. I might come along the top. I'll do that with you in a minute. Um, and I'm going 
to sew around here too just to sew it on so um, and then I'll show you the highlight bits I'll be back okay we are back again what I've done I've just finished sewing around with the white and then I did around in that sort of a really dark brown it's sort of not quite black I think it just makes it stand out a little bit more so I've gone all the way around and like on the um, on the picture I sort of need to go out and do that part there so I'm going to I've done that there and that's just a back stitch which is going to hold that down there like that and then maybe come out here a little bit just to give it a bit of a curve and it matches matches that because I really do have a white um, like a little, just a tag give it a bit of a curve it doesn't look like it's got a curve okay now now no, well, still got the the it's sort of a it's a really light cream which I'm going to use for the highlights and I've just gone over rather than I'm picking it here we go now I will just sew that off This cream. Now with the cream, I just um, where is it? It's over here. Okay, it's got a little bit of a spot there and a line there and a line there. So I sort of want to recreate that. So I'm just going to go over it. I'll have to go over it a couple of times because it's got all these layers it doesn't make it easy I can tell you okay so I'll go over that there Oop. so I'm going to go back next to it sort of a bit like a um a set a very small satin stitch if you know what i mean i do want to cover some of the spots cover the black here okay i will have to go over that a third time and all these little bits and pieces just add a bit of definition and character. Ooh, I'm going to come out over there because you can still see a little bit of the black. There we go. Yeah. Now we'll go over here. And do the same. Okay. Sometimes to get the result you want, it's a little bit tough. I might go just a bit underneath there. to the end here 
and we're just gonna have a tiny little stitch on there. Okay, that's giving it a little bit of definition. Now, with the white gel pen, I'm just going to do that. That gives me a bit of an indication of where I want the white. Then, there's I'll let that be just let it dry and I've got some white here which I thought I want the actual spot in the eye to be actually white white so I've got a tiny little bit but we'll let that dry okay so I'll um, go off with this sort of like off-white creamy and what I'm gonna do with that is um, this bit here I've noticed it looks like the squirrel ends here but it actually has a bit underneath which you know a squirrel has the white patch on the front so what I want to do with this white and I might even get a bit of this color as well um, to put some bits in pieces on the actual chest to make it look like it's got a little bit of chest hair if you know what I mean like as in it's it's part of the squirrel and not just a blank part I because I, um, this is cream I put a sort of like a white bit in the kit to because I wanted it to stand out because I didn't think it stood out against the cream but it still doesn't really stand out so okay now what I'm gonna do is where are we? I've got this. I'll re-thread. I think I've got them. There we go. So while that white is drying, this is for it's for the the nut. So we're going to be working on that. And I've got to work on the nose too, actually, but I'll do that with the brown. So, I'm just going to catch, actually, just going to catch it like we have with all around, just little stickly bits, because it's got, um, the heat and bond on there it should stay okay now yeah. I've just got even though the top of a acorn is probably not green I just needed it to be a bit of a different colour added splashy colour to tie in with the, the bottom here so we are going to lock in here see it's got the little hash so I might go along there and also we'll do that as well just to add a bit of definition to the um, the nut so that it's got a little bit of extra bits on there And then we'll go around, um, I probably should have gone and done that when I was there, but I'm going to go around and put some little tufts of hair around in bits and pieces. 
and that's what brings into life so cute adding all the extra bits on the eyes definitely does that too and on the nose Yeah, not the straight bits on the actual thing and the curve is underneath if you know what I mean but it does look nicer when they're just little stickers a few uh, layers on this because this is on top of the brown which is on top of the cream which is <laughs> um, underneath the wadding so yeah, yeah. I've already done that a couple of times, oh my goodness. I've injured myself so much doing stitching. It's one thing about journaling, at least it's not as dangerous. Okay. Okay. Oh, my poor thumb, it's got so many holes in it. And I try and put a thimble there, but it just doesn't feel comfortable to have it there like I have it. Maybe I should put a band-aid or something. Or have one of those um, those Asian Japanese rings that Carol was showing how to make. That would probably might work there. Okay. Yeah. At the moment it looks like he's um, having an ice cream, doesn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Pistachio flavoured. Okay, there we go. Okay. Might even use some of this for on the bottom. Okay, while I'm here, I should be dry. Um, I'm just going to come in through. There we go. And it's going to go across. couple of times and so once there and then once on the knee and then I might even do a French knot. We'll see how it looks with just that. Definitely probably going to do a French knot maybe on the edge there. Oh <laughs> see if it doesn't come out. Give it a pull. There we go. So that the white bits are a little bit more highlighted. So I have to finish this off. Sorry guys, I just have to come with me in this. done. Um, 
you need to make sure you don't have any of the white of the wadding. Now, I've got this, which I'm going to work, start working on here. Um, so it'll just be stitched on, like with all the other stuff. But then I'm going to um, do some just some straight stitches. Go through. There we go. Just so I haven't got this bit of thing here. Tends to grab it. It can be a little annoying. Okay. Try and go through this as quick as we can. There's not very many layers, so we should be a little quicker. Another thing I did when I was stitching on the hand, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got the, the lines here, which is what's on there, and also I've got them on the feet as well. When you're doing the stitching, that's what you do. Go underneath. Catch it. Okay. got the brown I want to do just a little bit of line work on here camera and just like a cross hatch pretty much is what we're doing and while I'm here I might even do because I usually have a little thing on the top so I might just do a couple of stitches together. Put a thing on top. And then the mouth I'll probably do um, a little bit later. But we do want to do a couple of little dots. So we're just going to do one, I might do one with pen first. Once again, we're just copying this. Okay, so I'll just do um, maybe five little tiny French knots. So we're just going to go over with one, pull it tight. That's a little bit darker than the red, but I don't want it to be too dark. That reddish colour. Okay. 
because it's got so many dots all over it you may not see it too much but I'm going to use the bat, um, black to do some whiskers like I did with the fox and the rabbit and all that thinking maybe five or six don't do this to you I hope it does that it's, it's the bottom of the of that Freckles. And then maybe one a little higher. And there we go. That should be enough. And then I'll take this down to the nose. Actually, I may do that with a darker colour. The nose, because we want it to stand out a little bit. Because hmm. I just don't think that would be dark enough, to be honest. Okay, back down. Go back down with this, like that. And what we're going to do is work our way. Gives it a little bit of texture. Now I'll start up here and work my way across. Mm. I just don't think it's big enough, so I'm going to double that. So I'm going to do the line where I have done it and then do one in between. Because I just don't think. It is close enough. Okay. Oh, pull that up. And then when you get to this side, that one in the middle goes down, and then this one sort of goes on a bit of an angle. And then like it that's in the picture. And get a bit of an angle towards this way. Okay. Doesn't really do a great deal but it gives it a little bit of texture and it doesn't make the um, nut look so flat which is what I want. Okay and then the last big one up here going down on a bit of an angle looks better go across the bottom and then we'll do the same you can't really see his claws on his hand to be honest not um, go underneath it with a darker colour because both of it here and here happen to be on the bit of the fabric that was dark <laughs> which is a little annoying but that's how it goes okay and then one going that way I'll be able to the camera in a minute a little higher okay All these little bits make it a little bit less flat. And we're using just plain colour. It looks a little flat. Okay. Oop. 
There we go. Hopefully it's not too close. Yeah, so just stripes going down on a bit of an angle cross hatch there. That's sort of like the top of the, the thing. Now I'm going to um, get a, another dark piece for the nose. This is probably a tad... Here's the bit that I just had. Here we go. Now... the noises of winter out there. Okay. So we want it to come in and colour in the nose a little bit. So just a a stem stitch, not a st keep calling it satin stitch stem stitch drive me nuts just to colour it in probably only need three a bit like how you did on the eye let's see here we go and how it covers and I'm just wondering if we need to do the mouth Yep, that's not bad. Should be enough. I will go across a little bit. And back. And I'll just have a little... Just a little slit. I don't want it too big. To indicate... Okay, now, now what I'm going to do, actually, um, I want to come along on the hands. And indicate the the claws a little bit better so I might do that here you guys can't really see it so I might go underneath it with a darker colour save yourself doing it twice but doing it while you were you, you're stitching around at least now it's an easy guideline of where I need to go so I'll do the same on the claws as well so you can see it so much better now yeah. and she looks like it's got little claws holding it sometimes it's a little less details that make all the difference and a tiny little bit of this on there which I'll use for the um, the feet I'll do that later because there's only two I think I've only got two on there so do that later okay now get in there people get in there so what I want to do is um, just put a couple of lines along here just randomly straight lines to make it look like that it is the chest and not just um, a gappy bit so so tufts of hair I haven't got it on the um, the pattern, but I thought I'd better I'd 
to do it sort of as a, it's almost like seed stitch randomly going along along the edge which I'll go there and then I might go across and go on the edge here too best way to do it I think rather than having it in the middle it defines it a little bit couple of little bits there. Okay. I even have one going across that way. There you go, it's all over the place. Just going in the middle. Like that will help hold it down too. There we go. So I don't know if you can see that or not, whether that makes makes a difference in person. So it's giving it like it, it's part of the squirrel now. Now um, see how I go at the end whether I need any more. To do the little tufts. Oh, we need to do his right, so just a strong thin thread. So should be able to go through here. And you use the little dots as a bit of a guideline of where you want to go. And I do it in the black so you can actually see it. If I don't think it works, we might do a lighter colour. Now, okay, so we go come from the dots. And then we just go across. I need to hold it down like I have um, in the past. So we will go across here, coming there. I could always go back and couch them. See how we go. I can probably go down. that last one what are we going to do with that go across here there there 
I don't know. Does it need to go up? So we've got another one going up. I don't know. I might go there. Have some going a little bit longer. Okay. So I don't know whether I need to go back and darken up those little black things or not. See how I go. I might do one. See what it looks like. Do a tiny little French knot on the actual French knots. A little bit defines it. At least it holds them down. Yeah. One of those things that looks okay better from where I'm sitting than where you are. <laughs> there we go. Give it a little bit of definition. tufts of hair on the top and I don't know whether I'm going to um, do that with the cotton thread or the thicker thread on. I might do a bit of both. So painting, I'm just going to see if I can find some cotton thread in that brownie ready colour. pause it while I go and look for some cotton thread. I'll be back at 42 minutes. I thought this wasn't going to take as long as the last one. It's taken just as long. <laughs> okay, well, what I've done is I've actually gotten with the pen um, and I've drawn my other pens in the house. So you just get a pen and you draw the lines and I've just drawn a couple of tufts which I will attach onto here and I have um, where is it? Got myself a this colour and I'm probably gonna do a mixture of both I think. So I'll just quickly do this because I'm thinking the last one was going to be you know um, shorter than this and that's turning out to be longer so we're just going to do little tufts we might use both so we've got fine hair and thicker hair it's always the way I'm wanting to show something quickly it never works out quickly so we'll just do fine little tufts of hair I think if I did the thicker it would probably be too much so maybe to, this is why I've got to test this stuff out okay the one here so just your normal cotton thread you know crisscross because that's how what hair does I just go 
I might go to here. We don't need to do one that sort of sticks out a little bit. And some going out that way. That's so cute. So there you go and so you do the same sort of thing on the other side so that's what you do there and on here I've got the thicker thread still got to finish this I've got to finish that so it's a back stitch but I'll quickly show you how doing this will add a bit of texture to the eye I think it look good but I want to give it a bit of Almost like eyelashes, but um, not quite, if you know what I mean. And you sort of want to curve it a little bit. So it's going in. And get it caught up on the other one. It's the only trouble when you... Ah! <laughs> okay, here you go. You got a bit of an idea of what I mean. You go on the angle, and then it'll go straight, and then on this one, will go on the angle that way. Okay, guys. Well, I'll continue on this off camera, but we're pretty much done at 47 minutes. I might even go. There we go. You can see the whole lot. So cute. Um, and do as much as you like if you want to just add lines here and there oh, often it has a, a few tufts if you want to do that um, on the end of the tail but I think it's pretty much right how it is but um, you know add a few lines and bits and pieces to give it a bit of texture okay guys well thank you very much the next one will be the tag um, I'm also I've got a bit of green left on the thread here so I might even go along here and and add a bit of grass along here too so yeah quite happy how this little guy's turned out and I'm quite happy with that it definitely needs the thinner thread so um, as you can see I'll bring it up and oh, don't want to have it too close there we go thanks guys okay thanks for watching and I hope you can go and do your own squirrel bye